welcome to the Redefine Podcast. All right, welcome back to the show. Thanks for tuning in. Today, I want to talk about looking back at the very, very beginning of my content creation journey in 2008. Well, at least my content creation journey for business, right? For, for my network marketing business and now, you know, for my uh, influencer business and my digital education business. Um, <clears throat> looking back to 2008. Because and I say this because I, you know, I'm, 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 I have launched as of this recording. Well, as of the release of today's episode, I have launched my first paid course, and I've gotten to this point. I feel relatively quickly, given that I just started doing courses uh, at the beginning of March. Right, that was my first course, and uh, you know, as I talked about yesterday, I had to set a hard target because otherwise, I would have just been in this perpetual state of creation and and study and and growth uh, without actual you know concrete having gotten some things done. So, given given those hard dates and hard targets, um, I've got I feel like I've made pretty fast progress uh, since you know 2022, the beginning of last year, when I first started this online marketing journey. And I I bring this up because back in 2008, when I first started going online and and doing content creation for my business, I felt like I wasn't making any progress at all. Right. And I guess, you know, for sure, the education wasn't there. And, and, you know, I had fewer people to learn from. And I was kind of learning as I go. Um, Also, you know, the space is much different now than it was. You know, there wasn't the social platforms like there are today. Uh, But I think for me, the, the, the biggest thing, there's a couple of really uh, big things that that I realized the difference between uh, my journey back then and my journey today. Uh, one of those things was that I didn't commit long enough, right? Yeah, I've I've had this channel. If you're watching this on YouTube, I've had this channel since then, and it's been kind of on and off, and and uh, I've done stuff here and there over the years um, intermittently, but. I never stuck to it long enough, consistently enough to start creating uh, real results for myself. And, And here's why I think that is. I think, you know, I had the mindset back then that network marketing, I mean, network marketing is all about results, right? Like everything in this space um, shows you that you can create results for yourself within two to five years. And not to say that that's how long, you know, doing doing digital um, takes, right? That's not to say that that's how long content creation will take for you to start gaining traction. But that's relatively that's relatively short. What I was seeing in the space was people, you know, in network marketing were getting much faster results than I was on and offline, right? There was people that that you know had just started their channels on YouTube that were starting to make you know a year, two years down the road that had huge followings and that had um, you know that had their own courses out, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm like, man, what am I doing wrong, right? So that was that was one of the things that threw me off course. I think also too I wasn't fully committed to it because I just didn't understand it, right? A lot of it back then was above my head when it comes to the technical side, the algorithm side, and I know I've talked about <laughs> I've talked about SEO before on this show and that that's not really my forte. Um I've gotten better at it for sure. Uh, but those things, those things really were discouraging, right? Because I was doing all the all this content creation, which is the part of the the part of the the, the marketing that I love, right? It's it's the part of the online space that I absolutely absolutely adore. Um, I love content creation, but like the mechanics and the logistics and the SEO and 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 all that stuff, uh, yeah, like it, I was such a, at a disadvantage because my brain just didn't work that way. And any time that I tried to study it, none of it ever stuck, right? None of it ever stuck. So my my lack of results um, and my my inability to gain traction with my content back then really was discouraging. And so that's why it was always fits and starts, right? I never committed in the long term. And and so the 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 difference today, um, yes, the platforms are different. Yes, the education that's available, um, it's definitely uh, yeah yeah. Well, there's much more of it <laughs> available, and and there's much more easy access to it. However, I think the biggest thing is that. Yeah, I'm much more committed to to going all in with this thing, right? Like, like with uh, with network marketing in in you know 2008, uh, it was still largely offline. At least at least how I built business, and I you know I still saw my my contemporaries having massive success offline, doing the home parties, even if they were doing you know digital 
and and online presentations it was still very much the same model and so you know i was able to, i because there was another option I, I reverted to that other option as opposed to fully committing and going all in to, uh, to doing the content creation and having that, um, you know, building that out as, uh, as my marketing. Today, I'm all in. And it's not to say that I have to be all in, that I don't have any other options, but um, I have the flexibility to be all in and to really study this because of my belief that this is the way to go. This is the future for network marketing. It's the future for marketing, right? Um, and and it's, a, it's a door for, that everybody can, can come in. Um, if they want to get into if they want to get into online marketing, I mean, content creation is something that we all already do anyways. And so my commitment, um, regardless of my immediate results, my commitment is much deeper and it's much stronger to this thing. So, um, yeah, yeah, it, it's just a stark difference. And, and look at look at the, the, the progress that I've been able to make thus far. Right. Sure, I'm in a different position. Sure, I have more influence. Sure, I have more confidence and I have more authority. I have a higher level of expertise. All of those things definitely have contributed to my uh, success, uh, uh, my current success with my content creation. But looking back in hindsight, I definitely think that I could have made progress and I, I, I could be much further along if I had seen all of that through in 2008. I mean, imagine where I'd be. It's 2024. Three? <laughs> yeah, I almost forgot. So that's 15 years ago, right? I could I could be an OG in this online marketing space if I had seen that through. If I had really committed to um, pouring myself into it and studying it and 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 facing the things that I wasn't necessarily comfortable with, like the technical side, right? Like like the SEO, um, like like all those other things that that you need to pay attention to um, that uh, that I didn't, right? And I still you know am not really struggling with, but, um, it, you know, I still kind of find, uh, a little bit more challenging to wrap my brain around than the simple act of content creation. Right. So yeah, yeah. It's just something to think about, right? If, if there's some things that you're facing now in your content creation, as you take your business online, as you take your marketing online, the things that you're most, well, the things that you're least comfortable with, Make sure you include those in the things that you're working on and do not ignore them because those are the things that may be, well, yeah, those are the things that might be, that might lead to your, your breakthroughs in your business and in your marketing, right? Um, again, looking back on, on my own journey, um, if, I had, if I had been willing to face those things as opposed to just tossing in the towel, um, then I would be much further along with my, with my online presence, right? So face the things that you're uncomfortable with, be okay with that, be okay with not knowing everything, and, uh, and understand that those things are going to be the things that, uh, that uh, help you make those breakthroughs. Okay, so that's it. I got to run. Uh, more from me tomorrow, obviously. So until then, be well, be safe. We'll see you in the next episode.